Hello, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the odds of uh, winning Division 2 in Australian Powerball, which is where you uh, select the first seven numbers, but you miss out on the Powerball. So obviously Division 1 is where you get seven numbers and the Powerball. Division 2 is uh, just selecting those, uh, selecting those first seven numbers, but missing out on the Powerball. And so what I've done here is I've created a template on this piece of paper that uh, represents the uh, the coupon that you'd fill out um, if you're playing Powerball. Uh, you'd select seven numbers from the first 35 and one from 20 for the Powerball. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly select uh, the seven numbers and the Powerball to, um, to, uh, to uh, uh, hopefully help you understand how the odds are calculated. So I've got 4, 8, 13, 17, 19, 23 and 30 and then I'll take number 10 as my Powerball. So I've got seven numbers and one Powerball. So when you're watching the Powerball draw then, when the first number is uh, drawn, then you've got uh, seven chances, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got seven chances in 35 because you've got seven numbers marked on your uh, coupon and there's 35 numbers in the barrel, 35 balls in the barrel. So you've got seven chances in 35 of matching the first number that's drawn. And to show that you have actually matched that number, I'll just circle one of those numbers randomly to show that that number has been matched. Now when the second number's drawn, then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six chances and six unmatched numbers, six chances in 34 because um, there's 34 numbers left in the barrel. One, uh, one number's already been drawn, so you've got, and you've got six unmatched numbers, six chances in 34 of matching the, uh, the second number that's drawn. And then I'll randomly mark off one of those numbers to show that that number has been matched. Now when the uh, third number's drawn, you've got one, two, three, four, five chances. Five chances in 33, five unmatched numbers, 33 numbers left in the barrel. You've got five chances in 33 of matching that uh, third number. So I'll mark off one of the numbers there to show that that's been matched. Now when uh, the, uh, what's that, the fourth number, one, two, three, you've got four unmatched numbers. There's 32 numbers now left in the barrel. So you've got four unmatched numbers. Uh, three numbers have already been drawn. So you've got four chances in 32 there's 32 numbers left in the barrel of matching the fourth number that's drawn and then I'll just randomly mark off another one of those numbers to show that that's been matched. Now when the uh, fifth number's drawn you've got one, two, three chances. Three chances in 31. Three unmatched numbers. There's 31 numbers left in the barrel so you've got three numbers in, uh, sorry, three chances in 31 of matching the uh, fifth number that's drawn and then I'll mark randomly again, mark off another one of those numbers to show that that's been matched. Now when the uh, six number's drawn, you've got uh, two numbers left unmatched on your coupon. So you've got two chances in 30, uh, two unmatched numbers. There's 30 numbers left in the, uh, in the barrel to be, to be selected from. So you've got two chances in 30 then of uh, matching the sixth number that's drawn and I'll mark off another one of those numbers to show that that's been matched. Now when um, the final number's drawn, you've got one unmatched number left uh, and then you've got um, 29 numbers left in the barrel so you've got one chance in 29 of matching that uh, last number that's drawn and I'll mark that off to show that number has been drawn. Okay, so what I've got to do next then is uh, multiply out those uh, numbers. So multiply at the top and then multiply at the bottom. So it's seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. And that's going to be over uh, 35 times 34 times 33 times 32 times 31 times 30 times 29. So I'll get out my calculator, turn it on, and start punching in those numbers. So seven times six times five times four times three times two times one equals uh, 5,040. Okay, so there's, uh, so that's uh, 5,040 chances in something or other. So I'll multiply out the bottom then, which is the 35 times 34 
times 33 times 32 times 31 times 30 times 29 equals that astronomical number which is uh, 33 billion 891 million 580,800 Okay, so the odds then of um, of uh, getting this far in it and getting the 7 out of 35 is 5,040 chances in 33 billion. So I want to simplify that fraction now so it's one chance in something or other. And to simplify that fraction, I'm going to divide uh, divide that, uh, that odds by 5,040 over 5,040. So obviously 5,040 over 5,040 is just 1. So all I'm doing is dividing by 1, but by doing it that way, I'm going to simplify the fraction because 5,040 divided by 5,040 is just 1. And that 33 uh, billion number, which is still in my calculator, if I divide that by 5,040, I come up with, uh, what's that, Six point. 6.7 million, 6 million seven hundred and twenty four thousand five hundred and twenty. Okay, so, but now we have to actually um, allow for the fact that uh, you know I've missed out on the Powerball. So there is. So what I need to do with that is, obviously I've got one chance in twenty of getting the Powerball. One chance in there's twenty numbers in the barrel. One one to select from. But there's nineteen chances. 19 chances in 20 of actually missing out on the Powerball and getting any number but 10. So if the Powerball was any number but 10, um, there's 19 chances in 20 of actually missing out on the Powerball because there's 19 unmatched numbers and 20 numbers in the barrel. So, so then what we need to do is multiply that out again to allow for the Powerball. So it's 1 times 19. Yep. And then it's that 6.7 million uh, number. Multiply that by 20 times 20 equals 134 million. Um, is that 490,400? Okay, so the odds then of uh, Seven numbers from 35 and missing out on the Powerball then, getting division two is 19 chances in 134 million. But once again, I'll simplify that fraction so it becomes, um, or simplify those odds so it becomes one chance in something or other. And I'll do that by dividing by 19 over 19. So obviously um, 19 divided by 19 is one. And that 134 million number, divide that by 19 now to get um, 7 million and 78,442. Okay, so the odds then um, of uh, Picking the uh, uh, winning division two, picking seven from thirty-five, but missing out on the Powerball, is one chance in uh, seven million and seventy-eight thousand four hundred and forty-two. And let's um, just have a look at the uh, coupon. There, let's have a look at the coupon. And on the back of the coupon, you can see uh, this. That's the of the Powerball coupon we we're looking at before. Uh, division two, seven winning numbers, one chance in seven million and seventy-eight thousand four hundred and forty-three. And what have I got? Forty-two. So they must have, um, yeah, it's forty-two point one something rather. So they must have rounded it up for the coupon. So there we go. That uh, proves that um, this calculation is correct. It agrees with the, uh, um, with the with the odds on the back of the Powerball coupon. And there we go, that's the odds of winning Division 2 in Australian Powerball. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and goodbye for now.